How's everyone doing? I'm Mobile Master Tech, and we are here. Um, this is off of three. What's this? Three eighty six, three eighteen Highway three eighteen, by the Pilot Station T Mobile. They have come and they have added sixty four nineteen radios to this bad boy. As you can see it. Very nice. Um, they must have done it within a few days ago, but they, you know it's done, so that's cool. So you know we have to test. So, and I'm gonna do the first test. I don't know what it's going to be. So we're gonna see it live together. Okay, so it's multi-gig from the back. I, I had a strong feeling it would be. Um, would have been surprised if it wasn't. So we're getting uh, just under 1.1, just about basically 1.1 1 .1, uh, down and we're getting um, 145. 146 for the uplink, which is very nice. Now this is before uplink TX switching is enabled in uh, the Orlando market. Now the Orlando market does not have uplink TX switching enabled just yet. We are seeing it uh, across like New York, um, Atlanta starting to see it now. So it's coming, but if you look at this right here, You'll see the uplink part is not there and um it will be it'll come back right now you only get uplink if you're in bad coverage uplink ca right now it's just it's solely using uh uplink mimo as its primary you know thing so and it's good so with the uplink ca combination i should be seeing closer to if i was this maybe another it depends on what they use if they use n71 then I would expect over 200. If they use N25, then maybe somewhere around like 170, 180. Um, so yeah, really cool to see. Now we can go ahead and we have the new uh, iPhone, right? Let me go ahead and sleep that. But we have the new iPhone right here. You know, if you're on my channel, you know, orange, love it, D-brand case. Love it, very nice, very, very nice. I've been loving it, battery life's insane. Like this, you know, I don't review phones very often. I might have to do one for this one. Let me know in the comments down below if you want that. But um, yeah, so Verizon's also on this on the site over here and AT&T is too. Verizon, uh, they added like a year and a half ago. They weren't on the site at all, it was just AT&T. A year and a half ago, they decided to come in with C-band included, of course. And hey, what better way to test than on the new iPhone? So this one also is multi-gig, but you know, they're having problems, um, not problems, they're, they're, they don't have as much spectrum as T-Mobile to pass around to get those multi-gig speeds. But when it first showed up, I was able to get multi-gig on Verizon, but these speeds are still very, look at that ping, right? 18 ping times 716 for the download and well over 112 for the uplink. Verizon has always been great on uplink um, in my area due to uh, they're, they're just good at it. They have a lot of spectrum, right? Uh, band 66, 20 megahertz, band 2, 20 megahertz, another band 66, 10, you know, N5, 10, N, band 13, 10. They have, they have a decent amount of spectrum. So right now this is standalone and this is only the 140. And I can go in there and uh, we can check that out together while I plug in the numbers. Okay, so you can see that right now, standalone, N77, 100, it is 140, um, and that's it, but it is on standalone. Now, you do have some options, right? Voice over NR um, is now an option. If I go to here, you can see standalone, check, and now voice over standalone, which only the iPhone has currently on iPhone, right? Only the, the new ones have this voiceover 5G standalone. Every other iPhone doesn't have it. Now, you know, we've been getting word that Verizon does not want to put that on any tower that, uh, I mean, not any tower, on just any device because, you know, devices age quickly as far as network capabilities goes. So, I don't know how many iPhones are actually going to get it, but I know they don't like the X71 um, modem that much, so we'll see. 
Last but not least, we have AT&T. This is the iPhone 15 Pro Max. And um, this is what AT&T is doing on it. Not bad. Now hold on real quick because I will go ahead and switch uh, my Galaxy to just to make it more fair, right? Because you got two X80 modems and then this one's not. And, you know, I don't want people saying that, you know, I'm being biased towards AT&T or anything of the sort. So I will go ahead and launch my AT&T business line. This is an AT&T business line premium. So it's the creme de la creme of, you know, what you can get besides like FirstNet, things like that on AT&T, right? So I'm going to go ahead and get that going. And uh, let me see real quick. Meanwhile, we'll go on the engineering screen. So we have band 6610, we got N5, we got band 2, band 30. So that's 10, uh, 25, 35, 45. 45 megahertz of spectrum on NSA. So the problem about at and is NSA, right? They're the only ones that don't have 5G standalone yet, right? And, and listen, the 5G standalone, um, and you can see right here that this phone is definitely better. The X80 modem is superior way better let's let me compare those tests real quick oh yeah it's it's not even fair so slightly better ping times way better download that's what that 61 downlink and then like three times the uplink so this is you know gotta have that modem when people say oh what's the difference with the modem the average person's not gonna notice you don't notice until you need it then all of a sudden you're like oh why does my phone not work when i'm sitting there like what are you talking about it does work you got to have these new modems, man. I'm sorry. I know. I know people don't want to spend money. They want to hold their phone for five years. And I wish it was like that. But in the world of tech, these phones, these networks, they move quickly and you will get left behind in the dust. Some people don't care. Some people do. I care. So, you know, if I see a new modem and I usually hop on it, right? I skipped the iPhone 16 because the modem was the same. And for right reason, they barely added anything to it besides Apple intelligence, which didn't even come out at launch. It took a couple months. And then the camera button. And that was really based in the new chip and the uh, new, uh, you know, the Apple A, what, A18 Pro. And that was it. So I didn't care. Anyways, that's going to do it for this video. If you like what you see on the channel, don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Follow me on uh, X at Terrell352. And before we go, actually, I just thought about this. Before we go, what I do want to do is, uh, if I can, if Samsung doesn't make me, yeah, Samsung doesn't make me. I wanted to see if Dish is still around. I haven't checked today. As of yesterday, they were. I still had um, Dish Network. So it's at the little Emporium place. It's pretty much behind it. It's not on their property, but it's close to it. Uh, the Antique Emporium, you know, off of uh, 318. So this is really cool to see anyways. Glad to see T-Mobile doing what they do. You know, keep adding towers, adding towers, adding towers, upgrading, upgrading. Verizon, listen, <laughs> they're on the same thing. They're gonna do the same thing, right? I've been seeing four sectors going up all over the place, new bills. 6419's C band. So, and I even see some permits for ATT finally starting to trickle down for upgrades. Uh, two new ones for towers. Um, so maybe ATT will, you know, get much, 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 much better. I hope so. Anyways, that's going to do it. If I can get to see if I can see if Dish is actually going to work or not, I'm not sure. It could, the jig could be up. Not getting any service. That's not a good sign. So the jig could be up for dish. Anyways, that's going to do it. Uh, I'll catch you guys in the next one. I'm out. Oh, wait. Hold on. I'm not out. Is this dish? So dish is still around. Okay, cool. Great. Great. Let's do a speed test before I head on out. If I can.
I know they're not on this site, so one of the worst areas for them um, is here because they're not on this tower. It's like one of the only towers they're not on, too. It's the funny part. All right, well, definitely not about to work, so I'll catch you guys in the next one. Later.